Hi, I'm Kutluk Oktay. I'm the senior author of the, the manuscript entitled Eight Specific Probability of Live Birth After Oocyte Cryopreservation Preservation and Individual Patient Data Meta-Analysis. Oocyte cryopreservation uh, is an uh, emergent technique and it's a crucial part of fertility preservation. The debates about uh, whether this technique is established or experimental has been going on for some time. Fortunately, American Society of Reproductive Medicine recently uh, issued an opinion that this technique should be considered established, especially when there are medical indications. However, insurance companies and policymakers have not caught up with this and still may consider this technique experimental. There is also a question whether this technique should be used for elective purposes. One of the reasons why this debate might be continuing is that we still do not have age-specific success rates for egg freezing procedures, just like the way we have it for standard IVF procedures. So our goal was to exactly establish that and to uh, calculate age-specific prob probability of success rates with oocyte cryopreservation. To be able to do that, we resorted to a uh, new meta-analysis method where the raw data is collected from authors who publish original uh, studies and they are subjected to sophisticated statistical methods to come up with one big database and then ask these questions. And to be able to do that, uh, um, we uh, reviewed the literature from the beginning of oocyte cryopreservation pregnancy reports about in 1996 till about when our study was completed in July of 2011. In the end, 10 studies uh, met the criteria, about four of those being prospective, six being retrospective, and two authors kindly provided updated data. So this amounted to about uh, 2,265 cycles and about in about 1,805 patients. In this study, we excluded non uh, we excluded donor egg cycles because donor egg cycles have been shown to be uh, um, to give uh, comparable success rates with fresh oil sites when using cryopreserved cycles, and uh, also these patients tend to be very young. Um, <clears throat> and secondly, what we found was that uh, um, with age, with both techniques, success rates drop as expectedly. However, uh, the success rates show sharper drop after age. 36. Then using this raw data, we came up with this age-based uh, um, success rate curves uh, by which patients uh, then can uh, enter their information based on how many eggs they have thawed or how many eggs are being fertilized or how many em embryos are being uh, transferred and then come up with a probability that's specific to their ages. And we will make these formulas available on our website so the patients and uh, clinicians can enter the data and have um, specific information available for their patients for counseling. To give an example, if you take a 30-year-old uh, woman who has about two to six eggs frozen and being thawed with slow freezing versus vitrification, uh, if they have used slow freezing, live birth rates would be around 10% versus with vitrification, it would be around 21 to 24 uh, percent. However, if you take how many embryos are being transferred after being thawed and fertilized, and you take one to three embryos, for slow freezing, that would be 5 to 15 percent versus vitrification, about 10 to 25 percent. And finally, we also found that pregnancies can occur with oocytes frozen as late as the age of 42 with slow freezing and age of 44 with vitrification. So our data tells us that while pregnancy rates decline with egg freezing, and sharply after age 37, egg freezing can be successful up to the age of 44. So in conclusion, for the first time, we have provided age-specific probability information for live birth for women undergoing egg freezing, both with slow freezing and vitrification methods. Using this information, patients and clinicians will be able to obtain more specific uh, success rate information when they are considering oocyte freezing, and they will be able to make uh, better informed decisions as to whether they should undergo egg freezing at a certain age 
or not. This is Kutluk Oktay, MD. Uh, I am the Division Director of Reproductive Medicine and Infertility at New York Medical College and the Medical Director of Innovation Fertility Preservation at IVF. I'd also like to acknowledge my co-authors, Dr. Eileen Chir and Dr. Hedron Bank. Thank you.